Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall discuss question number 2 of exercise 2.3, chapter 2, polynomials. Yesterday we did exercise 2.3, question number 1 and today we are doing question number 2. Use the factor theorem to determine whether gx is a factor of px in each of the following cases. So to solve this problem, first you need to know what is factor theorem. Factor theorem states that x minus a is a factor of px. px is any polynomial. So x minus a is a factor of px if p of a equals to 0. So x minus a, if you set it to 0, x is equal to a. And this value of x, you need to substitute here. That is, it will become p of a. And when you substitute that, if you get a 0 at the end after simplifying, then that means x minus a is a factor of px. You will understand this better when you do the problems. So just remember this is what we need to use. First problem, px equals to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1. And gx is given as x plus 1. We need to check whether x plus 1 is a factor of px. So first we need to find the 0. g of x is given as x plus 1. So set this to 0. x plus 1 equals to 0. Therefore x is equal to minus 1. Now this value of x we are going to substitute here. We will find p of minus 1. And after solving this if you get a 0 at the end that would mean that x plus 1 is a factor. So let's substitute 2 minus 1 to the power of 3 plus minus 1 squared minus 2 minus 1 minus 1. Now in the previous video question number 1 different polynomials were given but then one factor was given to check. Here three different polynomials are given and three different factors because this question question number 2 has three parts. So same way we are going to do and you need to remember that whenever you have minus 1 to the power of odd number you would always get minus 1 and minus 1 to the power of even power that is even number you would get 1. So here 2 3 is odd number so this is minus 1 plus 2 is even number so minus 1 squared is 1. Minus minus becomes plus. 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1. Simplify further. 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1. Minus 2 plus 2. Cancels out because this becomes 0. Plus 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So answer is 0. At the end we are getting a 0. Therefore x plus 1 is a factor of px or we can write instead of x plus 1 because here gx is given we will write gx is a factor of px. This was part 1. Let's do part 2 now. Part 2 px is given as x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. gx is equal to x plus 2. So we need to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial using factor theorem. So first we will find the 0 solution. Set x plus 2 equals to 0 which implies that x is equal to minus 2. Now this value of x we will substitute here. So we will find p of minus 2 minus 2 cubed plus 3 minus 2 squared wherever x is there we are replacing x by minus 2 plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1. We will simplify now equals to there is a power of 3 odd number and minus sign so minus and 2 is multiplied 3 times so 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8 minus 8 plus 3 
minus 2 into minus 2, even power. So that's 4 plus minus becomes minus 3 into 2, 6 plus 1. Simplify further, minus 8 plus 3 into 4, 12 minus 6 plus 1. These are all integers. So we will take the positive integers first. Plus 12 plus 1 is 13 minus 8 minus 6 is minus 14. 13 minus 14. Find the difference. That is 1 and 14 is a bigger number. So minus 1. Now here P of minus 2 we are getting minus 1. We are not getting a 0. This is not equal to 0 which means that x plus sorry g of x is not a factor of p x. So if you get anything here apart from 0 then that would be not a factor. Only if you get a 0 at the end after simplifying the given expression would be a factor of the polynomial. Coming to the last part of this problem, question number 3. P of x equals to x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. G of x is equal to x minus 3. So using this, first we will find the 0. x minus 3 set it to 0 which implies that x is equal to 3. So we need to find P of 3. 3 cubed, wherever x is there, we will replace by 3. 3 cubed minus 4, 3 squared plus 3 plus 6. Simplify 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27 minus 4 into 3 into 3 is 9 plus 3 plus 6. Simplify further. 27 minus 9 into 4, 36 plus 3 plus 6. All integers now. So 27, 3 and 6 are positive integers. We will add them. 27 plus 3 is 30. 30 plus 6 is 36. 36 minus 36 that equals to 0. So at the end after simplifying we are getting a 0. Therefore g of x is a factor of px. So with this we are done with question number 2. See you in the next video.